Welcome to our overview of SAP Business One HANA Delivery Schedule Management. What we see in front of us is SAP Business One. It happens to be version 9.1 and we're looking at the HANA interface. For those of us familiar with SAP Business One HANA, we can see the KPIs and dashboards and familiar menu structure on the left hand side. But what we want to focus on today is the delivery schedule management in SAP Business One. This is one of those HANA reporting options available within the standard SAP Business One. So we would use delivery schedule management if we've got multiple sales orders, for example, or inventory transfers and other elements associated with a particular item. And we want to have a look at the inventory status available to promise and we want to perhaps reschedule some of that delivery management. So let's have a quick look at how this works. Assuming I'm on the phone, I'm talking to a customer, they're interested in a particular item. Here, let's bring that item up. I'm going to look at the JB Office Prints 1420. As this item appears in my general warehouse, I can see I have a number of sales orders for this particular item. I can see the quantities, 20, 400, 800. I can see confirmed and unconfirmed. Now, the reason I have some unconfirmed is obviously I have a limited amount of stock available and the confirmed sales orders are consuming that stock, leaving me with some sales orders which are unconfirmed. Now, at this point in time, while I'm on the phone talking to this customer, there's various elements that I might want. I can go up here and I can sort by, for example, delivery date, which is my current sort order, but I could sort by a customer priority or by document date. I can also go in and I can have a look at these sales orders and I can customize the sort sequence. So move the sales order down in terms of the sequence. I can on the top right hand side, click on inventory status. Let's do that. And now I've got an inventory status available to promise report. So here I can see the purchase orders coming in. I can, of course, typical SAP Business One functionality, I can click on that purchase order, drill down to see the relevant purchase order, give me the information I want. And I can see here also the particular sales orders. Again, drill down to the sales order. So in SAP Business One, we start at a high level of information, we drill down to the information we want. This available to promise report is great. It's giving me the order date, the scheduled delivery date, the committed, the available, the cumulative available to promise, the confirmed quantities, the availables. So it's given me a lot of information associated with when these items might be available for our customers. Now, I can also click on alternative items because obviously an SAP Business One, if I don't have enough stock available of the JB Office Print 1420, while talking to my customer on the phone, where I can see I'm not going to have enough stock available to fulfill an order, I may want to recommend an alternative item. In that instance, I click on the alternative items button and I may recommend that I don't have the AB Office Print 1420 in stock, but I've got the JB Office Print 1600 in stock. These are the differences. Would you like me to make that available to you? So what we're seeing there in SAP Business One is giving us relevant information to make decisions quickly to help with our customer service. You know, good systems like SAP Business One are about much more than the software. They're about us providing better customer service to our customers. Now, of course, as I look at these orders, I may decide that one particular order is more important. Let's drag that order up now into the box. Now I can see that the order is not quite fulfilled, that I've got some challenges with this order. Now what I might do is I can reduce uh, or increase the number of orders associated with other orders to then fulfill my demand on that key order. So let's look at that again. I can see here I can only fulfill 378 out of 400 on that order. I'm looking at order 402 now, and I notice that order is not all that urgent. I drill down, I have a look at the order, I realize it's not an urgent order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stock from that order by moving the bar. And as I do that, I can see the stock increases on my sales order 405. I can still see I'm still short on that order. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some stock from this order as well. So now what I've been able to do is I've been able to increase and decrease the, the stock levels. Uh, we are fulfilling order 405 by taking stock from order 401 and 402.
Okay, now I'm quite happy with that. Let's preview what that looks like. So what I've done here using SAP Business One HANA is I've taken stock from two particular orders where I've reduced the stock. I can see they're unconfirmed now being 20 and 2 because those are less urgent orders. And I have fulfilled the stock on my urgent order, order 405. So in summary, what we've done in SAP Business One, HANA Delivery Schedule Management, we've reviewed our orders. We've looked at the available to promise report. We've considered alternative items. Then what we've done is taken our urgent order, order 405, and we've increased to get full confirmation on all items for that order because we want to expedite that order, and we've taken the stock from two other orders. It's a great new feature in SAP Business One HANA, just helping us provide better customer service. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there are a number of other presentations available on our website at leveragetech.com.au and also on the Leveragetech YouTube page. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that.